I had a friend who threw this huge elaborate wedding. It wasn't a destination wedding. It was in uh, New Jersey, and uh, it was beautiful. I mean, he had, like, one of the top bands in New Jersey, uh, open bar for hours, great food. Uh, he had, like, different t- um, stations. So he mm-hmm. had, like, a sushi chef on site. Oh, nice. He had, like, a Greek station, a Mexican station, and all the chefs were there. I mean, Amanda and I, like, I hadn't been friends with the guy for a long time, but we were invited, and I told Amanda, this is years ago, like, Dean was just born Mm -hmm. and uh and we went and we left um dean with my mom and and dad and my aunt and we went to this wedding this big elaborate wedding and uh (laughs) i said to amanda i go hey have you noticed on facebook that eric and karen aren't married anymore and she goes i thought so so now like in a weird strange thing eric is dating karen's friend who was the who was the uh uh Bridesmaid? Bridesmaid? Bridesmaid. Wow. Maid of honor, no less. I bet Karen At and the wedding. that girl aren't friends anymore. So then Amanda and I are like, they must have spent easily 50 grand at that wedding. So then it got me thinking, I wonder who else out there spent a lot of money on a wedding and it just didn't last. I got one that tops that. I know a guy. He had a huge wedding. Got the nicest ballroom and the nicest resort. He even had Leanne Rhymes wow. come and perform. And not Leanne Rhymes just with the guitar. He had Leanne Rhymes with the upline and the band and wow. the production. It was a private like five song show. Right. That's big money to pay for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like six figures to pay for that. <gasps> Six, like artist just doesn't swing by for $10,000. Right. <laughs> so is this couple not together anymore? No. I'm like, just for the fact that I I paid for Leanne Rhymes to come perform at my wedding, I would wow. still be, I would stick it through wow. to the bitter end. And you're right. <laughs> Tell us about when someone overpaid for their wedding and ended up getting divorced. Hey, guys. Good morning. Morning. So I knew a couple that spent over $200,000 on their wedding. And they ended up getting divorced about two months later. Two what? On each- yep. I mean, they ended up cheating on each other too. <laughs> and so, can you even get a divorce after two months? Isn't that just an annulment? I have no idea. I'm engaged myself, so I have no idea. Um. Okay. So why? What? What happened at the wedding that, to make it two hundred thousand dollars? They had four food trucks. They had performers. They had a DJ and a band come. Um, wow. Let's see. This was years ago. But they had everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and had, they looked like, in love. They had real gold there, too. And, Emily, they looked in love. Like, you were like, okay, this is a good couple. We're here to celebrate them. All's going to go well. Right, because they were high school sweethearts. And I was like, okay, they've been together since middle school. So I was like, okay, they'll be lasting a long time. Nope. Oh. What a wow. waste. Thanks, Emily. Marriage Can you imagine? changing everything. <laughs> I would just stick it out. Uh, I would just stay in a horrible marriage if it was $200,000. 704 said they work at a wedding venue, and they feel like the more expensive your wedding, the less likely your relationship is to last. Ooh, I can that? see that. You're materialistic. And yeah. 